Hey guys, the FBI here. I want to cover the Huns invasion. I just had a very tragic uh, encounter and thought I would uh, bring it bring it to light. So let's start here. The Huns. Now, it, when it says low as 500 million. I think that's the qualify to get in it, but I think your march power needs to be 500 million to beat it. And you need six people with that because when you get to the end, it just gets really insane. Unless you got two or three people anchoring it with 4,000 4, buffs, but I just had we had three people, 3,500, and we had three people join us that wasn't qualified to really be in there, and we stalled out at level nine. But you see, my power, or my size, was one third of what the other six people were. Which I had really good people. I had two of my friends, Sapper and Hellstorm. Both of them A plus players. And then we had some smaller players that not really hell setting type killing. And then you compare this is what a hell setting should look like. Taking two and three million, two and three million, it's good. I, I took maybe ten, of, no, just the two. Yeah, on this one I cranked it up for just two marches. I took seven. But I did what I usually don't. I usually do my 22s. I did the thousands here. Again, I proved why I shouldn't do the thousands. 22 is much better for your these. One place it paid out. This is Siege. That would have been, those would have been enhanced anyway. But I had it cranked up like this just because it was our final hit. And the regular one didn't work. But, you'll see. Siege, siege, ground. So I almost like it was three of us but but yeah the 500 million needs to be your march power not your castle power because after this match this happened to me and I, I just lost my I lost a mind on this one we, uh, I had Sapper again. I'm one of my buddies from my team. Yeah. But then, I had some bullshit. Not for hell mode. You not for hell mode. And you see. And now look here. But 
So yeah, do that. The other thing, I said enough for the bitching about it. To be the proper, so everybody wants to get the nightmare mode. But don't do it at the cost of making other people not be able to do the nightmare mode. Which can actually go in and kill the nightmare mode. But when you do go to this before the match starts before the match starts go ahead and use your march buff um, set your gears on like all fight if you don't have all fight uh, if you're paid you're not a paid player uh, just the simple uh, the area staff would work because that's going to cover you when you do all yours because you don't want to be over ranged and then lackluster on the mount or on the siege so you want to have an equal representation on all the things so do that but definitely use your march buff before you go because when you're there you don't you no longer have the option to but if you do it going into it, you can have it. The other thing is, we came across somebody wasn't sure about this. To use your stones. Use your stones. You come here, tap the pyramid. I like doing them in eights or tens, but I'll do these just to show y'all. So you'll get these. They'll come with runes, but then you'll also get these crystals. So you don't know what you want to get. It's totally random. Then, come over here on the top right. First, well, first, you can pay gems to get buffs here. They last for the, the time of the event. So do it today if you're going to do it at all because they're going to charge you as much if you use it the last day or the first day, but you'll get to use it the entire time. But after that, I'm going to go over here to select your room. And you'll notice you got the basic, the counter edge, the destructive edge, the multi edge. Can't really see the difference in this. Except this starts out at level 10%. This starts out at 40%. So this is by far the raid edge is a much more enhanced blade edge. Me personally, I'm on the counterattack resist, but so you got five, five. So these are basically these are buffs and these are debuffs and that's the difference between red and blue red and blue damage taken by your side minus five percent counter damage taken by enemy troops but now the one I chose damage taken by your side is minus eight percent That'd be for all attacks. Powerful counter attack chance 22%. Which I'm not really sure about how what that is all about, but another counter attack damage 50%. And also another 22% multiplier on the counter damage. And you got this one. This one. And this one.
So you definitely want to wear your thing. You got these sometime during the event. Lose the temptation just to do the hell mode. You need to come over here and look at the clear rewards now instead of just working on this you get the 100 100 200 notice these they're less it's not the 100 100 200 you're 50 50 50 50 50 100 100 but these are one-time claims so we would pay for you to do all these and not just focus on the one because you get these you get this one 250 350 450 550 it's 850 here and on the high side is Three thousand, three thousand for finishing hell mode. Use those to come over here. And get a scroll fragment. That's the key word of this. You're not actually getting a piece of equipment. You're getting a fragment piece. So. And it's pretty much every piece of equipment there's no exception equipment <coughs> so you definitely should be spending it here yeah all these other ones are not nothing uh, it's all about this do that 4,000, 4,000, 8,000. It should carry you from what the other ones are. Other than that, we'll go over some quick things here. Star Goddess Box. Uh, looks like a scam. I don't like it. You can see nobody on our server likes it. And it's not one person to use the key. carnival it's done but you have to claim your if you have any of these uh, gold rewards this has to be claimed today um, this would be good for treasure chest or the bloods mainly the bloods because you should be able to get or the blood crystals i was a little short of getting them the blood crystals for the beast would be great but yeah purple or blood don't do the boxes you can get them off killing monsters all day every day The Brackus coin. This is a super event, and you'll hit it multiple times, uh, or you can hit it multiple times. I've had some accounts hit it four times in three days. So, this hits all, quite often. And. And that's what no purchase, just doing it free, because I think this is one of the dumbest packages to buy.
Braveheart. If you need to heal from server, this is like the, one of the best values that you'll find in the game. If you have souls you need to heal with. Well. Hits your lights boss up. We're waiting for after BOG. That's the only time I hit mine. When I still have my Dragon Bus on. But I only strike it one time. But I make it count. <coughs> and I get these. It seems like every time I do it, I always get the, I always get the freedom stuff. I've never got a, the other, the defense equipment. But, this is for the brain dead people. Actually, I think it's there just for you to accidentally click. Because if you use 35 to get one of them... You should not be playing the game. But ours is going to be mount attack and reducing ground, which nobody would do that unless it was the actual buffer. So the mount attack's good. See if there's anything else. <coughs> These are done, but it would done claim your thing if you don't use it. Um that's pretty much it. This is us starting over from where that guy stole our alliance. You can see how far behind we are. We were on level nine on about everything on the other one. I hate that guy. <coughs> okay guys, that's it. Uh, keep building. We got the funnest game thing and the civilization attack coming up. Um, We'll be recording the class, the COC coming up three days and ten hours. I think it's the funnest game mode in the game. And I, I plan on doing a special about the COC. I'm not really seeing people play it correctly. And they're missing out on a lot of things that they should be doing. <laughs> but look for that video to drop either tomorrow or the next day. We'll see y'all around.